in the brain to create new neuron transmission. Y'all see this? What happens is there's a fire that takes place. And when you, whatever you fire, you rewire. That's amazing. You can actually restructure your brain, which means you restructure your thoughts, you change your habits, your actions, your beliefs, etc. You actually create a totally different life. You see, this is what we need to learn in church. You know, just jumping around, God gonna take care of it and do this and then, you know. And this is why we got so many people in poverty and stress and mess and sick in church. Because we just think God gonna take care of God gonna make us a salad. He's going to slap out the fried chicken that we know ain't no good for us out of our hand. He's going to take the coffee away, the white rice with arsenic, the white potatoes that's just going to make us, you know, 20 more pounds bigger in, in the next four months. God going to take care of it. He's going to bring my blood pressure down. He's going to get my sugar down. He's going to cause me to get rid of arthritis so I can walk right. God's going to take care of it. If you want a miracle, God is saying, no, management. Oh, I just can't get this blood pressure down, this sugar. Yes, you can. Stop eating the crap that's causing it. Anytime you want to change, God has given you the ability to take his thoughts and his word and has given you a brain with neuroplasticity that can expand and change and create new neurological pathways. we got to go through this journey of Thinking to transcend into being. You are not a human thinking. You practice that, but you're a human being. That's why he says, my, my thoughts are not like your thoughts. My ways are not like your ways. God had told them in the, in the Old Testament, go and possess the promised land. Yeah. You know what they did? They started thinking. I know he said go, but let's make sure it's safe. Let's, let's make sure it's, oh no, there's giants. See, God didn't tell them to go spy out the land. Amen. Wow. God said go possess the land. Go possess the land. It was like, no, now listen, listen to when you basically are into human thinking versus being. Look what happens. They ask the giants, what do you think about us? <laughs> we think you look like grasshoppers. And they repeated and said, they said, we be like grasshoppers in their eyes. We ain't going in there. And the word of the Lord came and said, possess this, do this, have this, be this. And here you still, letting years go by that you'll never see again. Because circumstance dictate to you, you can't do it, you ain't good enough, you don't qualify, you ain't with the right person, living in the right place, right geographical location, don't have the intelligence to get trained, you can't do it, so you're a grasshopper. You accept that belief. And if you accept a belief, come on, talk back to me, y'all. If you accept a belief, what? And if you sow a thought, mm, and if you sow an attitude, and if you sow an action, and if you sow a habit, and if you sow a character, so you right at the destiny that your belief took you to. If you're happy, that's because that's where your belief took you. You miserable, that's where your belief took you. You lonely, that's where your belief took you. You feel boxed in, that's where your belief took you. Your focus is controlled by questions. So a good mentor and coach or leader, first of all, and a doctor, a good doctor, number one, is never your friend. Your friend make you feel good. Your friend will accept you just as you are. Poor, broke, fat, ugly. They will accept you just 
the way you are. But a mentor does not accept the way you are. Because they know you could do better. If you want to see your future, look at your friends. You want to see where you're going next year? See who you're hanging around this year. Questions hijack your brain. The moment you hear a question, you literally stop and focus on that question. And that's a powerful tool for brain training. The question stops the thought process and immediately gets the answer. Questions are powerful to the brain. So questions can be a powerful principle in the household. Questions can be a powerful principle in the workplace. Questions can be powerful, a powerful principle in the family, among the husband, the wife, the children. Questions are powerful principles in your future. Questions trigger a mental reflex. And you know what it's called? Instinctive elaboration. Until a question comes forth, you don't go forth in an, in an instinctive elaboration. You'll just settle for what you used to saying and doing because you haven't been challenged. God wants us to elevate our consciousness and get and be an educated people, a spiritual people, yes, and an educated people. Because for too long, we've just been howling and have no substance. It's time that we represent the kingdom Amen. and the king well. The brain cannot multitask. Amen. This is why y'all don't get nothing done. You are destroying the neuroplasticity of the brain till you are pre creating holes in your brain. You're killing dendrites, killing neurons, killing your cells, killing communication. Go back here and do the first thing. And finish it. Yes. Finish it good. Then you can go to the next assignment. Yes. But if you're all over the place, I'm on my Twitter, I'm on my Instagram, I'm on my Periscope, I'm on my Facebook, all right? And then I, I, I'm watching TV and I'm sending out an email and I'm on the phone. We are biologically incapable of processing attention, rich inputs simultaneously. You can't do it, my, my man. You can't do it. I don't care how smart you are. You can't do it. Paul said it right. This one thing I do. People, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. You need to work on one thing. And your brain will begin to create the dendrites and the neurons to create new neurological pathways. You find if you don't ask the question, the person's going to get stuck and stay in the same condition, with the same personality, with the same belief, with the same behavior, with the same habit, with the same attitude with the same action, okay? With the same character, with the same destiny. A healthy brain creates a healthy body. Amen. Healthy brain creates a healthy wallet. Amen. A healthy brain creates a healthy bank account. Amen. A wealthy brain creates a healthy husband. Amen. Healthy wife, healthy Amen. children, healthy Amen. sex life, healthy communication. Amen. Healthy household, healthy church, healthy community.